Hi, Stephanie Canan here to show you how to get an amazing look using 3D Fiber Lash Mascara. You start with two tubes. One is the fibers and one is the gel. The long tube is the gel. We're gonna start with that and we're gonna apply a nice coat all the way down to the base of our lashes using the gel. I like to take my time here and get my lashes looking really nice and spread apart. There's a great wand that really helps you be able to do this and just really coat those lashes using um, this first step. It's really gonna make a big difference. Next up, I'm just gonna add a little bit more gel to the tips of my lashes and just really to the tips um, because we're gonna add the fibers on and I like my tips nice and wet before I go into using the fibers. The fibers are made out of cellulose, which is plant-based. Um, of course, this is hypoallergenic and ophthalmologist approved mascara. And I'm just gonna coat the tips. And then I go in and use my dryer. This is how I get my lashes to curl. I brush off any extra fibers. Um, and it just helps me get a really great finished look. Then I'm gonna go lastly in and I'm gonna coat this last coat of gel, which is where we say it seals in the deal, seals in those fibers for an all day, waterproof, sweat proof look. And you're gonna get beautiful lashes regardless of how late you dance into the night. I'm gonna add a little bit of gel to my lower lashes. I don't use the fibers on my lower lashes. I know some people like to and that's totally fine. If you have a fancy uh, date or something you'd like to use it, you can, um, but I generally don't. I'm gonna show you how to get a little bit longer lashes too here in a minute. So you can see the big difference between my lashes um, with it and without. I get a lot of extensions. Here's what happens if you put a second coat just on the tips. You're gonna just put gel on the tips here, being really careful because you've already made your lashes look fabulous with your first coat. And then you're gonna go in and add some fibers to that wet gel just on the tips again. You can use your dryer just to curl those lashes up. That way you're not using a harmful eyelash curler. And then you're gonna go in and seal the deal one more time, sealing the fibers into your lashes. Do any last minute touch-ups. If you have any fibers that happen to fall on your cheek, a little brush will take them right off. And there you have it. Such a great way to get extension without having to use glue and toxic chemicals and toxic products. I hope you've enjoyed learning how to keep your lashes long and your body healthy using this incredible healthy product. Take care.